Hello and welcome back to Minecraft and Survival. In the last episode, we set up, if you didn't watch it, I highly recommend that you do, but we set up, you are so annoying. We set up this path here with these lovely lamps. We made this staircase right here, and we also made a farm right there. Wait, I actually think we could harvest some of it. We made a farm for these ant lilies right here in order to get ant lily leaves. Now, why did we do this? We did this so that we can make firework rockets. Now, the final ingredient that we need is gunpowder. Now, in order to get gunpowder, we need sulfur, coal or a charcoal, and we need bone meal. Now, bone meal we can get easily from composting, which is going to be cool. Um, but my main concern is the sulfur and the charcoal. Now, the charcoal we can solve by making a tree farm, which we will be setting up at least the preparation for today. But I also want, but I also want to go and get some more sulfur. So I need I need to I need to go from here all the way over to where is it? Oh dear. All the way over to here. <laughs> because this is a biome right here where we could get sulfur and it's quite a while away. And I don't think there is a place close to us. Um no. Wait, we have is that it? No, that's just a cave. So yeah, I need to travel all this distance. Now, if I were to travel on foot, uh, no, just no. Um, but we have paper, right? I do have some sulfur, at least I should have somewhere. Mind you, I don't know where I have it. There we go, I have 11, do I only have 11 sulfur? I guess I only have 11 sulfur, okay. Um, but I should be able to, if I combine charcoal, sulfur, and bone meal, so I need to make a composter because I don't think I can get bones or bone blocks from anywhere in the end. So I need to make a composter where I can basically compost everything that I don't need. So how do you make a composter again? I think it's slabs, isn't it? I really need a tree farm in general because this this is not ideal at all. Yes, composter. Well, okay, I am going to place this. I probably should place it near the farm area. But I'm gonna place it here for now, just for testing. And then I can go in here, and I can pretty much take all the beetroot seeds, for example. Uh, I want to keep the shadowberry seeds, and lotus is going to be useful, and lily, obviously. Um, and I want to keep the the saplings and everything. It's hard, because there's not really much that I want to get rid of. Uh, Churros flower, I guess we can compost that. Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> this is going to take a lot of stuff, so we need to make some form of farm for sure. Just dedicated to bone meal. Oh, I can't even put the cherry flower in there. That's unfortunate. Can I eat the blossom berry? Hold on, can I eat the blossom berry? I might be able to eat the blossom berry. Please tell me I can put in a cherry fruit. Nope. Gelatine. Nope. I can put in lance leaf. Not that I really want to because it seems useful. I can eat the blossom berry. Okay, let's wait for that to see if we actually get a good amount of hunger saturated from that. Well, I think I definitely need to set up some form of farm to uh, to be able to do this properly because I do not have quite enough to actually make this compost thing work. This is gonna take quite a lot. I can't even put in the neon cactus. Now I should be able to now, with this bone meal, this sulfur, and this charcoal, to be able to make some gunpowder. And with that, go and take my sword and kill all these slimes because they're annoying me to death. That's not even a saying. I think now is a good time as any to... Oh no. I guess not. As I was saying, now is a great time to say that in the next episode I'm hoping to have updated the mod pack as well as my data pack that I use for this to make custom crafting recipes. Hey buddy! And with that said, it's a good time to say that if you're interested in playing with this exact mod pack that I'm using, you can get it and download it from my website binaryvigilante.com. But anyways, we now have three gunpowder and if I take three paper and three gunpowder, I now have nine firework rockets with flight duration one, which is awesome. I don't think the sulfur is going to be the issue anymore. I think the issue is going to be the bone meal. So if you guys have any suggestions on getting a sufficient supply of bone meal, yeah, I'm all ears. I mean, there is a lot here. So if there's anything that is like easy to farm, like maybe saplings or some sort of seed or something like that, do let me know, please, down below in the comments. It's gonna help if we can actually get a shadowberry farm hooked up because then I can start using the seeds from that that is left over. So that's something to keep in mind, actually. But anyways, with nine firework rockets, I am going to hope that that is enough 
to fly all the way up here to get even more sulfur. And then when we get back, we will work on setting up a tree farm. But this is the very first time that I'm using the elytra to fly. Um, this is going to be a little bit dangerous, but I need to go basically in this direction. But here we go. Woo! Oh man, this is going to be very, very scary. <laughs> This is gonna be scary. Okay. Okay, pretty much. Okay, we're getting, we're getting some some progress made here, some distance done here because these these um these firework rockets they one last very long time actually because we're in the end and there's not much to well slow us down. Oh, this is amazing. This is great. I'm already halfway, and I've only used two rockets. If I do this efficiently enough, I think these two rockets right here that I've used will be enough to get me all the way over to the sulfur. Wow. I can make a lot of distance with this. Oh, that's our outpost. <laughs> that's awesome. And the biome should be... Oh, nope. Turning too soon. There we go, and the, yep, that's the biome. That's the biome I was looking for. We've been here a couple of times already. There we go, now I just need to make a smooth landing. Perfect. Two firework rockets to get here. That is not bad. One thing that I'm thinking of maybe we need to do as well is to potentially, okay, so that has not grown out yet, is to potentially make some sort of XP farm to be able to mend this stuff. Okay, so these crystals right here, they are not finished growing, so it's basically kind of like amethyst crystals. They need to finish growing before you can actually get them. That one was grown, that one wasn't. And it's not a random chance either. Oh, it's hard to see if they are fully grown or not. This is interesting. Oh! Oh boy. What am I doing? What am I doing? I can't see a thing! Whoa, I'm up here. Okay. Right. That was interesting. <laughs> okay. All of this should be grown though, right? No? I'm so confused. Ah, that's one. Nope. Oh, come on. Why are they so difficult to... Okay. Okay, I think I know what they need to look like now. They need to kind of extend out quite a lot. Like this one. These right here. Oh. Never mind. Let's see if there's any recognizable down here. That one. Yes. Getting better at now. Okay. Uh, this one seems big. No. That one? Nope. <laughs> too small, too small. That one looks big. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Nope. All right. That's fine. This one. Yes. Okay. Nice. Okay. There should be a few in here. Okay. So basically when the crystal goes outside of the hitbox, that seems to be when they're big enough. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot. I might need to do some AFKing in this area in order to to get a lot of them grown. Like that one isn't big enough, even though it looks like it. Like this one is exceeding the boundaries right there, and that is harvestable. Okay, now I know what to look for. That one. Nice. Okay, getting the hang of this now. Now the question is, do they automatically grow back on this prime brimstone? Okay, so so I accidentally left the recording on pause while I was looking up uh, this brimstone. I couldn't really find it, any information on it, but it does look like, basically these two stones are the same, but it looks like when the water touches, it turns to a different color, maybe eventually. I did try this, like if I take that, it stays orange, but I don't know if it will over time turn to yellow and then maybe eventually, be able to provide sulfur so I'm gonna take back a few blocks we're gonna place it in the water and we're gonna see what happens it would be very very cool though if we can actually farm this stuff and I don't know if I showed this or not but these right here right these hydrothermal vents you they they basically make you go up like look I'm not using a firework and if you hover it just like I did before it basically functions like a like a launch pad. <laughs> That's awesome. Now together with that, I actually found out 
if we fly all the way down here, or swim rather, all the way down here, there is a specific plant. Yeah, go down, come on. Come on, this was not so difficult before. Swim. There we go. This plant right here, Hydralox. This right here, I've grabbed a few, um, but basically, they can be used to make white dye, but also enchanted petals, which can then be used for making enchant enchantment book enchant bleh, can't speak enchanted books, which could become useful later on. Now I have about twenty. F oh no, I accidentally angled one. Oh dear me, this is not good. Not good. Hello, buddy. You want to fight? Yeah, thought so. I'm gonna collect a little bit more of this uh, this stuff here, and want to get maybe like thirty two before I leave here. And then we'll fly back home, we'll set up the this brimstone here, and I think we'll do some more cleaning up in the water so we can have uh, easier install more farms. And then we can set up a wood farm as well behind the house, because we need a lot of charcoal for smelting in general, but also if we are going to keep making firework rockets. The firework rockets are going to make it much easier to explore the world as well, and to go from place to place, and even easier to... There we go, 33, that'll do. And even easier to start looting more and cities more efficiently. But with that, I think I have everything that I need from here. Uh, hydraulic vents, hydraulic? Hy hydrothermal vents, brimstone, uh, hydrolux petals, and their saplings, the sulfur as well. And yeah, let's, uh, let's fly home. Whee! This is amazing though, being able to fly from place to place just like this. This is so much faster than before. Just like that, we're almost home. I have used a lot more rockets on the way home, but considering we got some sulfur out of that, I'll take it. And just like that, we are... Eh. Okay, just a second. Home. And it does look like end fish do respawn once this area gets loaded back in, so that's very good to know. We can actually have a supply of end fish from this. Time to restock the end lily seeds, just like that. Get our stuff put away. Gonna put the elytra back on the pedestal here, because we won't need it for right now. Alright, I want to clean this up. I want this place to look nicer, and I've already planned out for a farm over here, though I'm not sure what I should have here just yet. But I want to clear out a section of this so I can actually start placing farms down easier. And I want to place this brimstone down somewhere, maybe over here? I don't know where to put it. You know what, I guess we will put it on the other side here, just by the edge of the lake. If I start mining this out, and placing the brimstone down, and we will see by the end of the episode if anything has changed, and I'll even place some randomly down here as well to see if it needs to be surrounded by water or something weird. There we go. I'm gonna keep the other 12 in my inventory. <gasps> it does turn! It does turn! Ooh! Okay, never mind. By the end of the episode we will see if potentially we have sulfur growing on this. If so, we're gonna set up a farm for it. So we're gonna leave that there. It does turn. So I want to see if we will get sulfur from it. So we're gonna leave that be. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna place down all of this now. <laughs> there we go. I placed all of it. Time will tell if we can actually farm the sulfur from this. Next up, I need to remove all of these low stems in pretty much the straight line. I want to follow down this path as well, so we can have farms on a line here. Maybe mine out some of these crystals, even though they look cool. Um, I could go around them as well, but that'll just mess up the farms, and I don't really want that, but we'll see, we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll start doing some work, and, uh, yeah, enjoy the time-lapse.
All right, a bit of a progress update. So I have made a path from the house, as you saw, all the way down here to this plot of land right here, which this is where I want to put my tree farm. Now I just realized that I will probably not be able to place down any saplings because I this is just normal end stone. This is not end moss. Plus, I'm pretty sure it probably depends on what type of sapling you want to put down. Like if it's just this sapling, it should work on this moss right here. But if I want another sapling, I probably need the moss that is under that tree in that biome. So, oh man. So that's a bit of an issue um, that we need to fix. I, I, need, I need silk touch. I just need silk touch in order to be able to resume properly in this world. Um, so that is something we will be taking care of next episode. I already have a plan. Um, but when I was making that path, I got this because I'm pretty sure I can I use the shears to get it and I can compost it, which is really, really cool. Now, it obviously is taking quite Oh wow. It's taking quite a lot in order to fill it up. Um, even though I have had like, what, three, three stacks or so, three and a half, it does not fill it up very quickly at all. Two and a half bone meal, pretty much. That was not a whole lot of bone meal from that. So bone meal is definitely an issue, but again, if we get shadow berries go growing, I can use, start using those seeds to get the bone meal, which should be good. But again, that requires me to have silk touch. Hold on, can I make the silk touch book i can Ugh, cobweb i can't i how how am i supposed to get cobweb huh how am i supposed to get cobweb all right which means i will be needing an enchantment table unless i make a recipe for the cobweb now nah, that doesn't make sense nope i will need to get the book or the enchantment the good old-fashioned way meaning i need an enchantment table which means i need obsidian but again i have a plan for that but let's take a look at the farm real quick i haven't actually checked if there's any sulfur growing yet <gasps> the sulfur guys the sulfur the, ow the, i don't know what that was hey fellas move away move away move away that's actually sulfur gr growing multiple places look at that oh yes that's huge okay guys in the next episode we're making a sulfur farm we're making a sulfur farm but this is basically what i have done over here i don't really have a whole lot of wood in order to finish this project but now i can at least very easily expand it so we have the first farm right here my plan is then to have another farm of the same size go all the way over to here then have a block of block gap in between then have another farm of same shape the same size sorry and then we can continue it further down so that is my plan i have three main plants that i want i want those and then I want these three things right here. So I want to grow the lotus because they give some very cool wood that I like. I want to grow, grow the uh, hydrelux, whatever they're called. So that's two plots right there. I also want the glowing bulbs, but I, that's not underwater. But these two right here are underwater. So that's going to be cool. And why can I not put lily and lily seeds in? That's weird. That's weird why I can't put... Okay, but yeah, as I'm starting to use the farm, I will be able to put uh, remaining seeds into the composter, which is going to be great. I also don't know what type of wood that I actually want to grow. This is the tree that is like right outside. Uh, I don't think I can place it like this just fine, but I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't place it on the sandstone. Now, some of you in the comments did say that I can bone meal uh, this right here to make it spread, which is cool, but I just do not have enough bone meal to be able to do that so i don't actually know how i'm going to do this i is that enough for a tree to grow or does it need to be a four by four because the tree is kind of big but i have a feeling that maybe one is going to be enough you know what i'm gonna leave that one sapling there and we're gonna see if it ever grows i could try and use bone meal on the sapling but i don't want to because I, yeah i'll need the bone meal for other things which you will see in the next episode so i kind of just want to fence this area in i'm using helix uh tree fence here there we go uh just because it's the wood that i have most of at the moment so i'm just kind of gonna fence this area in and i'll be able to develop this further uh once like i said once we get more uh more wood going i'll be able to actually finish this area but for now i think this will work just fine and that's pretty much all of my helix wood so I really hope that this will actually make it over. Nice. 
Good. I like it. I like it. All right. I just want to do some final touches now, which is setting up some lanterns uh, on some poles. And then we will go over the plan for the next episode. And then I think we are out of time because I want to, I don't just want to make a sofa farm. I want to actually make it look good as well. So I want to be able to plan it a little bit better than just jumping right into it. So I'll, I'm going to wait till next episode so I can actually think about it a little bit. I'm just going to make a bunch of these lanterns because they look cool. I just hope I've made the right ones. I have. All right, so I'm just going to not spam them, but I'm going to place them here and there where I feel like they fit in. Kind of like this. I like it. Maybe another here. Oh, yeah, I also switched out my mending pickaxe because it was about to break to my efficiency. Four unbreaking three pickaxe, which I do need to do some uh, combination soon. Okay, that doesn't attach, but you know what? That could be a good thing. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Yeah, I like that. I actually like that. I'm also going to replace the fencing on these to be that in Lotus Stem because I think it just looks a lot better. Again, I have a plan with this, but I do want to think about it a little bit more because technically I could save some space if I just put it a little bit closer together. I just found out I can make endstone flower pots. Huh. All right, I have done some changing. So this was the original farm plan, but I have changed my mind actually. So I'm going to have endstone brick slabs in between each segment. So there's going to be brick slab, then log, water, 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 log, space, log, water, water, log, water, log, and then it keeps going down like so. That way there will be paths you can walk on, you can harvest it easily from both sides. Um, and this this is just a lot of logs for one place. So yes, it's a little bit smaller, but it's going to look a lot better. So I'm going to basically re re remake this farm right here. And then I'm planning on having a path going down and then maybe we can have some other sort of farm thing growing here. Maybe it can be something not water related or water related. I don't know. But this planning has been worth it, I will say. But we need to do some planning for the next episode because things are about to get a little bit dangerous. Like I said earlier, I need Silk Touch in order to really continue. Plus, it might be nice with a little bit of a break and then return to the farming stuff later. So here's the thing. I need an enchantment table in order to get Silk Touch. For that, I will need Obsidian. I have pretty much everything else. Obsidian, the only place to get it is going to be at the Spawn Island, which means that is where the Ender Dragon lives. Now, I am not ready to fight the dragon. I want to wait with that, but I do need obsidian. So yeah, I think you're getting the point. We are going to fly over to the spawn island and steal obsidian from the pillars without the dragon killing us. And we're going to get out of there once we have the obsidian we need. So we will get two objectives done. We will get obsidian plus we will be able to scout a little bit ahead for when we are ready to do the dragon fight. So with that planning and all that said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next episode where it could get a little bit dangerous. <laughs> but anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.